Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center O and this uh, blue square O, C, D, E put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this angle uh, E, O, B is uh, 27 degrees and moreover uh, the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is uh, 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square uh, OCDE. We know all these uh, interior angles are 90 degrees so therefore uh, this interior angle is going to be 90 degrees as well and moreover this angle is 90 degrees as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny angle uh, AOC is going to be 27 degrees uh, as well and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the side length uh, of this uh, blue square and we are going to connect uh, this center O with this vertex uh, D as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with this uh, right uh, triangle uh, OCD and now we can see that this uh, OD is the high part in use of this uh, right triangle and furthermore uh, this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, quarter circle as well and we know the radius of this uh, quarter circle is 8 uh, units so therefore uh, this uh, OD length uh, has got to be 8 units as well. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle OCD. And we can see that this uh, triangle is our isosceles triangle. Since this side uh, OC equal to this side uh, CD. So therefore uh, if this side is uh, lowercase a then this other side has got to be lowercase a as well. And since this is an isosceles uh, right triangle, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And likewise, this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 8, whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and lowercase a as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square is going to be equal to 8 square. Let's simplify. So this is going to give us uh, 2a square equal to 64 on the right hand side. And now I am going to divide both sides uh, by 2 to isolate uh, a square. So therefore uh, a square value turns out to be equal to 32 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 units. So the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is lowercase a and lowercase a value turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the sector AOD area minus the area of the right triangle uh, OCD. And here we are talking about uh, this uh, sector uh, AOD area minus uh, the area of this uh, blue right triangle uh, OCD. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this sector uh, AOD and the area of the other right triangle uh, OCD as well before we could calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle uh, AOD is going to be sum of these two individual angles uh, 27 degrees uh, plus uh, 45 degrees and if we add them that is going to give us uh, 72 degrees. So therefore uh, this whole uh, angle uh, AOD turns out to be 72 degrees. 
and here's our next step now we are going to calculate uh, the area of the sector a or d and now let's recall the sector area formula area is always equal to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi r square and here in our case our angle theta is uh, 72 degrees and our radius uh, lowercase r is uh, 8 units so therefore we can write uh, our theta angle is 72 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times our radius is 8 square and now we can see 72 degrees divided by 360 degrees reduces to 1 divided by 5 and likewise 8 square is 64 so therefore this whole thing uh, can be simplified to 64 times uh, pi divided by 5. So therefore uh, the area of the sector AOD turns out to be 64 pi divided by 5. And now we are going to calculate the area of the right triangle uh, OCD as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, our uh, base is lowercase a and the height is uh, lowercase a as well. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle OCD is going to be a half times our base is uh, lowercase a and the height is lowercase a as well. So therefore, this could be written as uh, a half times uh, a square. And now we can see our lowercase a value is 4 times square root of 2. So I'm going to substitute that value over here. So therefore we can write this one as 1 divided by 2 times 4 times square root of 2 whole square. And now we can see the square of this whole thing is 32. So therefore we can write this one a half times 32 and that's going to be equal to 16. So the area of this triangle OCD turns out to be 16. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And let's recall this equation once again. The green shaded region area equals to the sector AOD area minus the area of the triangle OCD. And we already figured out uh, the sector AOD area as 64 pi divided by 5 and the triangle OCD area is 16. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our sector AOD area is 64 times the pi divided by 5 minus our triangle OCD area is 16. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, green shaded region uh, turns out to be 64 pi divided by 5 minus 16 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 24.2 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.